Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. The roots established first, and it gets a good network, then it shoots up good. Today, the Soil and Water uh, District is selling trees in order to help out the communities and municipalities that have lost trees during Hurricane Sandy. We, as Cornell Cooperative Extension, are helping out by providing information to the people picking up their trees. Our, our volunteer master gardeners are here, and they've been handing out information to people to help them with their lawn and tree issues. A lot of these trees that came down may have been the wrong type of tree for the wrong location, may have had a very shallow root system. Uh, so. And additionally, you've probably seen a lot of trees that are planted really close to sidewalks. Those roots can't develop, can't spread to anchor the tree properly. So there are a lot of different varieties of trees that are more suitable for growing on Long Island, especially where we have a high water table. So it's important for people to understand that not all trees are bad and, you know, it just may have been the wrong tree for that spot. If you plant something, you know, that these introduced species, let's just say tulips, you know, you really have to nurture these and put a lot more inputs into the environment in order to help them grow in this environment because they aren't meant to be here. If you find a native plant, it's not going to need as many inputs and as much work from us, including pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, in order to grow health in a healthy environment. The uh, Conservation District was really created to help uh, farmers and farmers in need. And uh, farms are something that we don't have here in Essa County. Uh, so a lot of the expertise of the district uh, is underutilized. Um, but we still are very capable of providing support to property owners, whether it be a municipal property owner or a private property owner. Uh, if they have any questions about stormwater runoff or erosion control on their property, uh, we are uh, uh, an entity that is uniquely suited to uh, provide support in that, in that regard. This color is going to stand over, over the winter time. We're getting people from the South Shore to the North Shore. A lot of wind damage in the North Shore took down a lot of their oaks and pines and all those kind of trees. On the South Shore, a lot of flooding took away their shrubs and some of their trees as well. So what we did was get a combination of plants that would work for the North and the South. Native plants are adapted to our area. A lot of the things people do plant in their landscape are like Japanese or they come from other countries and they could possibly become invasive. See the root structure in here? I mean, this is, this is ready to go. You can plant these sh shortly. You just have to keep this wet. These bundles come in bundles of 10. Uh, they're smaller trees and they're bare rooted. Uh, this means basically you at home are going to be able to do the growing up. So let's say a year down the line when these things are going to be a little decent height, more, let's say, depending upon the plant, you'll have a couple feet on it. Then you could say, I want, sh I want shade in this corner of, the, uh, of my property, or I want it green, I want evergreens in this, uh, this part of the property. So you'll have a right to choose yourself. And then, of course, the cheap price, uh, you can't get that from any nursery. The East Meadow Farm is part of Cornell Cooperative Extension's outreach arm. It's on 832 Merrick Avenue in East Meadow. We have demonstration gardens, community gardens, as well as a plant diagnostic center. So people can bring in their soil samples, they can bring in their plant problems, the turf samples. If they have any sort of issue, we have volunteer master gardeners as well as um, educators there that will help diagnose their problems, uh, test soil for pH, as well as salinity.